A baby's stress system is very different from an adult, and more often than not, babies are unable to lower their stress levels on their own. And Dr. Greer Kirschenbaum joins us now to share some proven ways to lower your baby's stress levels. Oh, doctor, you know, where were you when I had my little ones and I was having a breakdown? No, wait, honestly, though, I was telling you that as I was um, learning about my child early on, if you just touch them and held them, pretty much you got them to kind of quiet, soothe down. Yes. What is it about the touch and the closeness? that gets them to calm down. Yeah, it's one of the most unexpected things I think a lot of parents find, a lot of the parents I work with as well, that babies need so much closeness, so much proximity to feel safe. Mm -hmm. All of the signals from us, our, our smell, the sound of our heartbeat, our voice, they're all signaling safety to our babies. Mm. And they go right into their stress system to calm it, regulate it, and keep them feeling, you know, just right. So is there a difference from a baby being stressed and a baby having colic? When, yeah, really good question. Okay. So a baby who's crying is commun always communicating yeah, of something, course. right? Discomfort, mm -hmm. uh, loneliness, hunger, right? All the things. Um, and a baby who has colic, I would, I, was one of these babies. Were you? Okay. I cried a lot. Okay. My mom's here. She will tell everybody. Um, and there is probably an underlying factor there that we can, sometimes it takes a long time to figure it out. But once we hold them, when we're giving them those safety signals, when we're responding to them, when they're with us, their stress levels actually aren't getting really high inside their body. Okay. They look really stressed. They're crying. Okay. But as their parent or caregiver, we're buffering it. For them, mm, okay. which is really beautiful because when parents have a baby who cries a lot, they worry. Yeah, of course. Am I helping? Right. What's going on? And I always want to give parents that message. You are doing amazing. Yeah, because then your so stress great. goes up too. Yes. So you're, you're a neuroscientist. So this yes. is based in years of research. Yeah, the past, you know, my career was about 15 or so years in the lab. Over that time, this huge field of, we would say, infant mental health, um, we call it, or you know, developmental neuroscience, mm -hmm. came out with incredible information to show us that the nurturing care babies get in the first three years of life transforms their brain and can have an enormous impact on lifelong mental health, physical health, all the things that we wish for for when babies. When you say their brain, like their mental health, meaning if they're a happy child or if they develop neurosis down the line, what do you, what do you mean? So not necessarily if they're happy, because babies, you know, we all have all different types of babies. Some, sure. you know, some are on a spectrum of not, not too stressed. They yeah. don't, you know, experience a lot. Others are really reactive, right? Talk about those babies with yeah. colic yeah. and, <laughs> and babies who are just, you know, really reactive. The most important thing is that they have a reliable adult mm. to handle their stress. So mm. can you tell the difference between stress and hunger or cold or, like, is there a difference in the, <clears throat> excuse me, they're crying? Yeah. I mean, the emotion is probably similar, right? Yeah. The, the sort of scared and, you know, maybe fearful or I, and I need something yeah. kind of thing. So, yeah, once we can uh, check for those things, it's usually hungry, yeah. tired, yeah. <laughs> uh, sometimes dirty, but usually not, not that we yeah. want to, you know, <laughs> check right anyway. um, It is almost always the emotional need. And like I said, it's surprising. Like some babies need almost constant holding and mm -hmm. constant closeness in those early months. And parents are always surprised, always surprised. And then, yeah, I really try to help them uh, with it, lean into it. So is it basically the baby's crying, you pick them up and you hold them? Or are you talking to them? Are you soothing them with your voice? Are you actually mm. touching? What are you doing to actually lower that stress yeah. level? Such a good question. I would say really tune in, keep it between the relationship bet between you and your baby, because babies like all different things. Mm -hmm. But what you describe is right on, like a really multi-sensory experience is great for babies. So carrying, there's great research on actually just carrying. Yeah. So we know, you know, holding a baby chest to chest, they get that touch, they might hear your heartbeat if their head's over your heart, um, and kind of walking around with them, singing to Ocean. them, you know, all the senses, engaging all their senses, just gives them all those signals, I'm safe, you're safe, I'm here for you. And, and at what age can you start peeling a little bit of that uh, constant attention back you yeah. know, when you're trying to teach them a little bit? Yeah, it's a very slow 
slow kind of trajectory of okay. learning. And so my message is infancy in terms of neuroscience is between zero and three years. And three mm. years? Yes. Oh, and I must so tell my kids then. A lot of people <laughs> think it's like, you know, we're made to think it's like four months or yeah, six yeah. months or 12 months, but it is an entire three years. And when we look at our little ones, we see they are really needy in their emotions. Mm -hmm. They really mm -hmm. need the yes. scaffolding mm -hmm. and support for those full three years at least. Mm -hmm. Although I'm still needing it myself sometimes. <laughs> I just want to go cry to my mama. Yes. Please. And that's it. End, right? yes. that's, that's it. That's it. We, I want every human, baby, child, adult to know that we can always go to those that we love for support, right? Yeah. That's how we're designed. We're yeah. a social... You know, animals. social animal, mm -hmm. right, in the right. end. Yeah. Dr. Kirschenbaum, thank you so much. Nature-neuroscience.com. Nurture, sorry. Nurture-neuroscience.com is where you can find more information. She even has a book in which she talks about all of this because you're yes. also a doula, right? Yes. All right. Oh, Great man. information there. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much for we appreciate it.